On behalf of my colleagues from across the institution, I want to welcome you to the Smithsonian Folklife Festival Beyond the Mall. For the next 10 days, we will use our digital platforms to share stories of culture, creativity, and the environment from partners in the United Arab Emirates, the Brazilian states of Bahia, Marunao, and Pernambuco, the U.S. Department of Energy and the Solar Decathlon, and our very own Smithsonian Conservation Commons. Although this year we will not be on the National Mall in Washington as planned, the efforts of the festival's remarkable staff, interns, and volunteers continue. During this time of profound challenge and change, the communities with which they work have much to teach us about building an equitable and sustainable future. I encourage you to join us often and to participate actively by including your questions and comments in our program's chat section. As the Smithsonian's 14th secretary and as a historian and educator by training, I find the Folklife Festival's art story to be particularly relevant to this moment. In 1967, then Secretary Estelle Ripley issued the mandate to take the instruments out of their cases and make them sing. Against the backdrop of the civil rights movement and the burgeoning anti-war protests, he and the festival's creators understood that the Smithsonian had to reflect and challenge America's image of itself. By working with communities from throughout the United States and later the world to bring their stories and cultural heritage to Washington, D.C., the festival made space for difficult conversations and joyful encounters through creative expression. Over the years, the thousands of artisans and cooks, dancers and musicians have contributed to building a festival whose work is as relevant and needed now as it ever was. At this moment, in our homes and on our streets, people of all walks of life are coming together, rolling up their sleeves, to operate what Martin Luther King called the beloved community. Manifesting this just society depends on having spaces for hard discussions about racism, intersectionality, decriminalization, and environmental sustainability. It also requires places that celebrate creativity, that spark joy and foster possibility. Yes, culture matters. I am extremely proud of my colleagues at the Center for Folklife and Cultural Heritage, which produces the Folklife Festival, for moving, quote, beyond the mall, to ensure that the Smithsonian is able to live its values by amplifying voices in the global chorus of those working towards an equitable future. Thank you again for joining us.